Hello and welcome, it's the Jelly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm going to attempt to hydro dip, hydro dip some Christmas decorations. Um, so hydro dipping, my way of doing it is I've got spray paint and a jug of water. I will spray my colors into the um, water and then I'm going to what they call hydro dip. So dip my baubles and I've got a little rack here that I'm going to hang them on as soon as I've dipped them. So fingers crossed, I've got several colors and I've got it all ready. Um, I'm going to first just try a pour inside one of the glass ones just with a little bit of paint that I have left here. So I'll try that first because I don't need my respirator. But after that, I'll stop talking because I'll put my respirator on. Um, because if you're using spray paint, you definitely need to be doing it outside or inside using a respirator and extractor fan, which is what I have here. So wish me luck, people. So first of all, I'm just gonna try this little pour, just a little bit of leftover chocolatey caramelly goodness inside the whole thing. So I'm going to pour it all in and then I'm going to swish it about. So it's just pouring my paint inside. I haven't tried this before so I have no idea whether it'll work. I'm going to swish it. Oh look at that on that side Ooh, because then you've got the glass you don't need to varnish it or do anything to it so i'll just take it to the top again i mean i can always drip well the top has got to have a um i'll show you it's got a silver cap that fits on so that looks awesome already look at that you don't have to do nothing and it's sheeny shiny gorgeousness well i haven't done it before um, this particular way with the balls anyway I have done it on glass I must do that again and show you guys so I'm just trying to tip the paint so it covers the whole of the inside of this oh, bauble that's all right if it comes out I suppose it would be good if I just got my that's that's basically covered all the inside of the bauble <laughs> That's so cool, look at that. Oh my goodness, I haven't, and I, you can touch it straight away. Look, absolutely beautiful. So I am just gonna leave it resting in this cup now to dry. So I don't know if I leave it like that, whether it will all run out or whether I need to leave it on its side. I will try just, let me wipe my cup. I'm just going to wipe the lip of the cup so if I just sit my bauble like that I'll put it aside but that's 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 really perfect because you haven't got to put a gloss coating or anything on that it's already there so that was a cool thing straight off there you go I learned something new there um, there's my jug of water. I hope you can see what I'm about to do. <clears throat> I think you can. So, 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 my jug of water. I'm gonna put my mask on, so I'm gonna stop talking.
so as you, <coughs> as you can see the job is to spray the spray cans of paint just on top of the water and of course it sits on top of the water because it's oil and you just dip those whatever you want to dip whether it be the um, Christmas baubles you can dip pretty much anything I think plastic glass and that's hydro dipping so the color just clings straight away to that outer surface all I did really to prepare the outer surface was just to wipe over with alcohol uh, I suprol alcohol just to make sure the surface had no waxy or fingerprints that might stop in it from the paint to adhering so it was simple as that but definitely definitely either do this outside or really well ventilated area because um, it is you know toxic to, to um, breathe in those fumes for sure and to wear a respirator mask is the best thing to do. So what I'm doing now is I'm just mixing a bit more of that pre-made pouring paint into a container to um, pour into these other baubles. So there's, you know, hydro dipped baubles and there is some um, acrylic painted one. So what I'm doing is like I did on the very first one is I'm going to pour the paint inside the clear bauble because it's... Um, I mean, it was really surprising to me that, of course, that when it's uh, swished around on the inside of the clear plastic, it leaves a lovely effect on the <clears throat> when you're looking at it on the outside. And it's already pre-coated. It's already got the shiny protection of the um, plastic. So it's it's a great a great way to do this. At um, yeah, just see what you let me know what you think about this one. So just carefully tipping it into the hole at the top. I am actually trying to do like little rings so you know it's not just the paint going in a big blob. Hopefully it'll show some kind of nice effect um, when I hold it up to show you what it looks like on the outside of the bauble. And the ne next thing is to literally just roll it around in there so it's covering. Look at that. Oh, so nice. It looks so much nicer actually in person than it does here looking at it. So you're just tilting it all over the inside of that bauble. And look, the out, so the outside is finished, all nice and glossy because it's the plastic. So you can't get no harder wearing than that. So when it's left to dry on the inside and you put the cap back on, it's all done beautifully. You can absolutely do a um, little name tag or something to give somebody a special if you've got a, a cry cut machine or, or, or um, scan and cut that you can um, put some embellishment on the outside and make it really personal. But yeah, I loved doing these. It was so much fun. So showing you the first one I, that I did, the creamy caramel, it's actually really sparkly 
so I was so excited about doing these I just wanted to um, continue on so yeah very happy with those happy Jean And now for the second one, this one has got more blue and gold in it. So, so excited about these. I just absolutely love them. I love doing them and I love the end results. I hope you like them too. And now for the next one. So I've got lots of ball balls painted now and they all look gorgeous. As you can see, they're gorgeous. I mean, can't see the um, hydro dip ones so well there, but you will in the photos at the end. So I'm really, really happy with those. So I'll leave them there. I've left them there to dry. You can either dip them in a coat of resin, or you can just wipe over with the gloss on the hydro dip one. But on the other ones, they need absolutely nothing because look, how sheeny shiny they are just gorgeous so you just leave them to dry with the lid off and then when they're fully dry just put the uh, the top back on them ready to hang so there you go happy Jen Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. It's coming up Christmas time and I thought I would um, show another way of doing some uh, Christmas decorations that are really nice uh, forever gifts to give away a Christmas decoration to each of your relatives and mate, you can put names on them after they've dried. You can get the cut out of a name or to give it somebody special that they can have on the tree and say in 20 years time I had this Christmas decoration from yours truly so <clears throat> Capriol Shabby Chic sent me these decorations or these 
templates for Christmas baubles last year and I didn't get to use them. So this is how they come in two pieces, which is great because if you decide to embellish from the inside or fill it with whatever, lollies or anything, or you can do that too, but what it is great for is pouring over because you can split them in half and only pour over them while they're like that. I like pouring the um, pre-made paints over things like this because they actually really cling to everything quite well. Um, you don't need to do any prep and they really dry quite shiny. <clears throat> if you remember, I did my vase. Oh. I did my lovely vase in this poured over a glass vase in those um and it's beautiful really lovely and um i really fancy these colors so i really would like to do some of the christmas decorations in actually these colors they don't have to be your traditional do they uh, red gold and silver so um i think i'm gonna just um jillify them a little bit so they can be for your own, own tree like i said or you, they can um, be for gifts so I've got them set out on a baking tray just so everything um, falls off and goes to the bottom. I suppose I could have set them on a canvas or, um, you know, so the drips all go on a canvas or probably better is a silicon sheet. So I save all my drips for skins. But anyway, I'm going to do this for you today, whether I pour on absolutely all of these that I've got here. There's bell, bell shapes and round ones and all sorts. So I'm just going to try my best. So for a start, I'll just move them back out of the way for a second. And what I will do is load up my little jugs with paint. And uh, I'll pour them over in different ways. But I do want to try... Um, I do want to try just with my ordinary paint doing a, um, I might do that first before I do anything else. I might just try with this one. So just move those out of the way. I just want to see with the ordinary acrylic, I just want to see if I can do a, a, like a bloom effect on the one. So I will try, move those for a minute. Well, actually two, because they two go together. So I'll try those two. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, ah, I'm going to pour some of this. This is just a very, very pale grey that I had left from a pour I did yesterday. So I'm going to just cover my bauble in the grey paint first. Move it away. This one. I just want to see if I can kind of blow a bloom effect on it. I know that Saskia Smith does lovely bloom effects on um, Ita rocks and things, and I think she does this too. And they're just gorgeous, so wish me luck. I'm going to try doing it on this. I mean, probably my paint is a little bit thin because... Um, this was just mixed up for a different purpose, but I'll give it a go. So this one is the Dark Sea and it is running off very well. <laughs> this one is Turquoise. Turquoise, Turquoise, whoops. Oopsie days. So it doesn't matter at this stage. I'm just giving it a little try. This one's Phalo Blue. And then I will go for gold on top. And oops, 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 oops. I'm going to try and nice colours anyway. This is the black, Amsterdam black mixed with just Australian Floetrol. I, people ask me oh, about other Floetrols. I've never used any other Floetrol because I'm here in Australia, so I don't get the opportunity for the other ones. But anyway, I've got to work quiz with this. The 
see if it'll work. Probably not. Oh, by Jove, it did. Oh, oh this side's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Jeez Louise. How pretty is those? I know it's got a lot of black on there, but I'll bring you down after that. That's gorgeous around here. So I've got to keep my fingers crossed that it doesn't actually all um, just run off. But I know I've seen Sashkias sash sash and it doesn't seem to with Sashkias, but that's a bit dark there. But it might pop through, so I might just give it a little bit of heat and see if more pops through in the black. Oh, I don't want to do. I don't want to disturb it. Okay, that was one anyway. So let's get on with the other ones. I will. Oh, that's pretty underneath. Gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 I'm excited about that. That's pretty good, pretty nice. So I've got up more set up on here so I can just sort of merrily go along. That is so nice. Oh my goodness, if when that's given a, a my wipe on resin or a resin coat, that would really pop. Pop your socks. That is a really nice personal bauble. Bauble. Rightio. Oh, I've got to move this back again. I'm going to load the colours that I would like in um, my pour. Rightio, I'm starting with the gold. So remember, I haven't got to do anything with these because they're already pre-made up. So that's the gold. I'll give a squirt of the black. I might just do one jug at a time that would probably work better um and i give good oh those are coming gorgeous if i'd done my paints actually thicker they the shape would actually probably stay better on them i'm excited about those can you tell <laughs> i would like um I was thinking I would like a darker blue in there too. I'll just see. So this one is the bronze. And then I'll see if I've got a darker blue. Yeah, I have. I've got the cerulean. I'm so excited about those. They're very pretty. The colours are really, really nice. So this is cerulean. I'm just pouring it in down the side of the um, jug. You'll see what how I sort of go about doing the rest of it. So that was the gold again. That gold is a particularly lovely um, gold. Really dries, so uh, true to colour and bright and shiny. Um, Put a little bit of blue in there. A little bit more. This paint is quite thick, and that's why I think it's really good at sticking to your surfaces. I might put a bit of the white. I hope you can see all this that I'm loading in there. White. I'll go back to the bronze. And go back to some more of the turquoise and then a little bit of black I don't want to put too much black in case it overtakes the whole lot um, go back to the gold oh that's such a beautiful gold it really is okie doke so let's get back into position more white in there. Pull this all back. Maybe I'll turn it around so I've got the ones that I've already done at the back or just those two. Those are so pretty. Oh 
Look at those. Very, very nice. Very happy with those. Rightio. I don't know if I'm going to get all of these poured today with the colours that I've got, but I'll give it a go. Do a few in um, the traditional sort of red and gold. I might keep the... Lovely. Rightio. I'll <clears throat> try with the bigger ones. I've got, oh, it looks like I've got a fair bit of black in there. I hope to goodness it doesn't take over. So I'm just going to kind of do a swirl. And what I'm realising now, because these are a lot smaller, I probably should have done uh, less of the colours, like uh, less colour in between, because, oh, oh that's, that is gorgeous. I want to bring that back while it's got that. Wow. I love that turquoise in this. Ooh, there's a lot of black in that, so I'll wait till some colour shows up and is that one that blue has made a difference oh look at that blue wow I have to go over this one again because there's not enough paint on this back side give a bit more gold to this if I run out of paint I'll just start loading my um, Jug back up. So that's mostly black now. I've put way too much black in it, but at least it'll give it a coat of black and then I can come back over with another colour. And I won't use the black. So the black and gold actually looks really nice too. Just right here. I'm gonna load some more colours back in here so I won't use so much of the black. And what I realise is you've got to probably not put as much paint in each time. Oh my goodness, my camera stopped. Plus I had a call. Oh my goodness. Um, I poured the rest of them. I need to pour some paint on. Oh, is that? No, oh, I think it's got it on. The bottom of those Christmas bells just missed a little bit, but they are so gorgeous. I think I might have to put paint a bit on the bottom of those bells, which doesn't matter. Um, but the, everything is so gorgeous. I can't believe that I didn't do this last year. Now I'm looking at it thinking, oh, why didn't I do this last year? Because hopefully if these dry perfect, to have a, the gloss or my uh, rub-on um, resin that I've got. Look, I just I just did on one with the, the actual um, Montmartre pouring paint. I just put some of my the one I did the the blowouts with, 
I just put a bit of the black on top of the colours that I did and blew it out and these lovely effects came through. And this one, look at this one, I just... It's, I'm really happy with them all. I want to do more now. I've got a few more... I've got a few more left. I've got just another big one because now I'm thinking I can give each of my kids a special... I've got a couple more of these, a special um, Christmas decoration. I've got another one, another size, and I've got these that I want to do for my granddaughter. I want to do the stars for my baby granddaughter to actually make a bit of a Christmas mobile for her. But that'll be another time. But providing those dry perfectly, that is, they're just beautiful. They are, I am so, so happy with those. Look at those. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you really love them. And if you do some too, um, please uh, join our Facebook group with the Australian Acrylic Pouring. You do not have to be Australian. Just have to answer a few questions. And you'll be in like Flynn. What I'm going to do is bring my camera down so I can show you all around these Christmas decorations a little bit better. So here is the loveliness. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So hopefully they dry beautifully. And this is the one that I did just with the ordinary acrylic paint <clears throat> and did the blow. Look at the, I mean, they have lost the shape a bit from a bloom kind of effect, but they're still gorgeous. And look at the sides of this. Look at that. See, in the very black area, I could, um, well, you could, it doesn't really matter. A lot of people, especially for mature people, instead of it looking um, like a kiddie like. And look at these just with the black and gold. I think those are very classy looking baubles. And then my bells. Look at the bells. Gorgeous. This one, that's, and then I did the another little blow on that egg shape one, and then this. Look at this! Oh, it's so lovely. Very happy. And so my um, gecko likes them because it's he's clicking away there. This is like my uh, glass vase that I did, and then this one. So very happy. So I know if these dry and I put the uh, wipe on resin, so they will just be gorgeous. And this particular paint does dry very glossy anyway. So I hope that you enjoyed that and give you some Christmas ideas if that's your thing. And until tomorrow, my lovelies, please take care and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.